Now, you go to much of France or other countries for a weekend, it's often delightfully quiet on a Sunday. Somehow it feels different to every other day, basically, because the shops aren't open and there's nothing to do. Our shops are open. Big stores are allowed six hours on a Sunday at the moment in England and Wales, but the government seems ready to deregulate opening hours further. Uh, a government business minister, Anna Soubry, said on the radio today that when we couldn't shop on Sunday, truthfully, it was the most miserable day of the week. The only thing to look forward to was sing something simple on the radio. Uh, goodness me, if that didn't sum up a miserable Sunday, she said. In our office, no one could remember sing something simple, but I can. Interestingly, Sunday opening divides the political right. There are libertarians who like deregulation, and there are social conservatives who like a family together day. I think we have both points of view represented here. Philip Blond is director of the Res Publica think tank. Dia Chakravarti is political director of the Taxpayers Alliance. Why should we deregulate further? How many hours a week do you need to shop? To me, it's a matter of choice, really. And in this case, it's choice of three particular groups of people. So it is the consumers who might want to shop during Sunday for whatever reason. You know, they could be doing grocery shopping. They could be doing shopping related to their work, which they cannot do during the week because they're working. It is the choice of employers who want to stay or shops of a certain size. Remember, we're talking about shops of a yeah. certain size um, to be like everyone else and continue shopping during Sundays. Um, and it is also about the choice of people who want to work uh, in those institutions who are shops of a certain size and want to stay open on Sundays. I see no reason why sh the government should step in and take and that choice away from them. And you don't worry at all about people saying, I actually don't want to work on a Sunday, but I don't have a choice because I have a job with a shop and I know that I'll be paying a big sacrifice in my job. Well, it seems a bit... I... That, that, no, I, I see that argument and I understand mm. it, but it seems a little bit strange to me that we think it's only a certain group of people who work in a certain sort of um, shops who need that sort of protection. I mean, you work pretty antisocial hours, I'm, I'm, I'm sure, um, Evan. What Indeed. about poor, poor Andrew Neil every Sunday? You know, I'd like to think <laughs> he does it because he chooses he to. He doesn't think it's work. OK, he well, he it. chooses to and he works his family round around it. He doesn't need protecting from the government. Why do these people? Philip. Well, there are some choices when exercise take away the choices of many others. This argument reminds me of the idea that if you're at a parade or a play, you have a choice to stand up. And you stand up and you get a better view. But if you stand up, everyone else does. And then nobody has a good view as they did before. Actually, what this does is remove choice from people. We know from surveys, for instance, by the Shop Workers Union, Usdor, that 67% of their workers felt compelled to work on Sunday when they didn't want to. We know that 74% of the British population like the situation as it stands. Less than one in 10 people want deregulation. And there is a majority for change, but they want more restrictions. And that's because the choice that most people want is the choice for a special day, a day that's different from all the other right, days, but you, you... a day to spend with family, friends and children. You see, I, I, I thought you were trying to make it, build it all into choice, which was really to accept mm. Dia's basic mm. argument. But actually, isn't it about a different kind of day? You know, and we, we, we have to make a collective choice mm. about that. Because if you're shopping, I can't have a different kind of day on a Sunday because the roads are busy That's and the, the shops point. are all open and everybody's at work. Whereas if none of us work, it's different. Easter Sunday, come on, dear. Easter Sunday, it's <laughs> there, different. There are two points there, Evan, I think. One is that, again, you know, why are we thinking that regulating, regulating one tiny section of one industry? Remember, manufacturing, you know, all sorts of other things are open or can be open be on careful. Sundays. We're talking about a tiny portion of an industry here. That's one point. Secondly, think of, well, diverse Britain. I'm not a particular fond of the multicultural word. Think of diverse Britain for a second. Yes, traditionally, Sunday has been the day of rest. But if we are, if we are going down that lane... Um, well, how about some other uh, communities, other groups like maybe the Muslims or the Jewish people who might want to have Fridays off, for example, or Saturday, because that suits their culture better. So that, to me, seems to be a slightly fraught argument, which, which should open up all sorts of arguments well, that we don't necessarily want to have at the stage. But you weren't offering a religious argument. In no, terms, no, no, no. Well, I mean, you know, my Twitter feed was full of people saying, I'm not religious, but for God's sake, protect Sunday, because I want to spend it differently. And actually, if you're making a diversity argument, then let's have a diversity of days, and more importantly, the current situation actually favours economic diversity because it supports small shops. And actually, there are no net economic gain. For instance, when we last liberalised the Sunday trading laws, sales actually fell. During the, the Olympics, sales fell I mean, year on year. There was the Olympics going on. Yes, I mean, but... That's completely different. But, well, 
is it? Because actually sales fell in convenience stores by 20, small shops by 20%, much less so in large shops. So actually this deregulation will massively favour favor the large uh, the large retailers. It will be the Walmartization of Sunday. And actually, most people want to exercise a collective choice to protect Sunday. Right. And this is actually an illiberal measure that operates against majority let choice. Me, let me offer something which you might both prefer to what we have at the moment. Eight days a year, no shopping. They're like Easter Sunday. Proper different days, right? Mm. But the rest of the time, you can have whatever shopping you want. Would you prefer that? What I prefer, for instance, is actually more shopping in the evenings in, in, in town centres outside. You go to those places, they're dead zones. So the point is, if we want more sales hours... Well, they're allowed to then, open there now anyway. Yes, but let's... not to, because no one wants to go shopping at those Well, the, the, point, the point would be that if we actually want to liberalise, let's use it to expand our town centres and keep Sunday special for the people who want it to be different. Would you accept a few days of special, a few more special days when no shopping? Is allowed if I got to choose those days, yes, Evan, but the choice has to be with me, and that's the whole point of living in a democracy for me. Well, if it yeah. is a democracy, go yeah. with the majority. Or, or leave than, it with my choice. Rather than your or little with my minority Thank you both. <laughs> a vested interest. Thanks, both. That uh, is it for tonight. It's budget day tomorrow, remember. We'll be with, here with that. But we